Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. You know, I've been doing uh, reviews of power stations. I've reviewed several models over the last couple of years. One of the units uh, that I have really uh, become very acquainted with and I really love is the Geniverse Home Power One unit. Now, I've done several video reviews of this unit using different appliances, and I can tell you that I use this thing practically every day uh, here at my off-grid cabin for running small appliances, cooking appliances, recharging gadgets. Also, it has a nice handle on it, so I can take this camping with me when I want to go camping, and also I use it for running remote tools. Uh, instead of running a gas generator, I can take this out, I, I can run my weed eater, I can run my uh, other uh, small power tools and that, just using this unit right here. It is an excellent unit. I've had no complaints with this Home Power One unit. It does have three AC outlets. It does have the DC uh, cigarette plug style lighter. It has USB uh, A and C ports, uh, and it has just been an excellent unit. No complaints at all with the Geniverse Home Power One unit. Now Geniverse has come out with the Big Brother, and I got one of these units to review. So let me talk about the features of this Geniverse, and this is the Home Power Pro 2 unit. So let me put this one out of the way. So this is the Geniverse. A home power pro 2 unit it has twice the capacity of the smaller unit this unit has a capacity of uh, 2419 watt hours or 2.149 kilowatt hours if you want to look at it that way that's a lot of capacity it also has a twice the size of inverter this has a 2200 watt inverter uh, with a 4400 watt peak and it has a, a, a life pull 4 battery in it uh, so you're going to get extremely long life, up to 3,000 cycles of life on a LifePo4 battery uh, like this. And that when we say life cycles, what that means is recharging it empty to full it, before you notice any significant difference in capacity. And, you know, that equals out for most people, that's going to be anywhere from 8 to 10 years before you see any decline in capacity on a battery like this. Like I said, this has a very large inverter in it. It has a 2200 watt with a 4400 watt peak. Uh, it does have the three AC outlets. Turn this on. It has the three AC outlets over here. Uh, it has the USB A and USB C outlets. It has a button for each one so you can uh, use them alternatively. It, it has a very bright LED display. It tells you how much capacity is in here. And then when you plug in an appliance, it also tells you how many hours you could run that appliance. That's a really nice feature. Uh, so, so if you're plugging in an appliance, you can know, well, I can run this appliance for 19 hours. I can run this appliance for two hours, you know, depending on how many watts uh, an appliance is pulling. Because some people, a lot of people don't know how many watts an appliance pulls. Now, who this unit would be good for? This unit is designed, because it is a larger unit, it weighs about 60 pounds, it does have handles on both sides, it is designed uh, primarily to be put in one place and kind of left there. So you could use this in your house for a, uh, a power emergency, and we've had a lot of power emergencies this year, folks. Uh, in fact, they have one going on in California right now. I think it's got 35,000 people without power. There's been several reported over this year uh, because we've had a very difficult winter. I know I had a lot of snow and a lot of uh, overcast days here. You can use one of these units to run your microwave. You can run it like the fridge. You can see in the background here. You can run all kinds of cooking appliances off of this. You can run your CPAP machines. Uh, you can run your oxygen machines. You can run any type of emergency medical equipment. You can keep your medicines in your fridge from uh, going bad. You can keep your refrigerator, your refrigerator running so your food doesn't spoil. And this should run most of your appliances for basic needs from anywhere to three to four days, okay, I would estimate. And now that's going to be the primary use for a lot of people. It's excellent unit for a home emergency backup system, but this is also an excellent unit for people who are into RV and camping uh, because this is a, an all-in-one unit. It has the inverter built in. It has the power charger built in. It has a great life pull 4 battery with large capacity, and it has all the plugs that you need. So you could use this in your RV, basically, instead of having to buy separate batteries, separate controllers. It has an MPPT power controller in it. And it is a fast charging unit, so you can charge it directly from your solar panels, or you can charge it from an AC outlet, 1500 watt outlet. You can even charge it from your generators in about two hours, as long as your generator has 1500 watts. You can recharge this up in about two hours from your generator, or you can even recharge this from your vehicle. And they do include the uh, cigarette style plug cord, so you can plug this into your vehicle. It has an 8mm plug on the back of it. And they include the uh, AC cord, and this is a heavy-duty AC cord because it's fast charging. Again, this plugs into the back. Plug it into any 1500-watt AC outlet, and you're going to charge it up in about two hours from completely empty 
too full uh, in about two hours, and then you're you're ready to go. This unit can also be stored for up to a year before you need to recharge it again. And you want that doesn't mean it's going to be drained. That just means you should top it up after about a year, or at least check the charge to make sure that it's still full. But it's, it's good for a year after you charge it up. So it has all of the the uh, plugs that you need. It has the the USB and USB C fast port chargers on it. Uh, it can also be charged up from solar. And uh, Geniverse does have their own solar panels. Uh, and I will show you later in the video uh, the solar panels uh, at, that you can get from Janiverse, or you can use your own solar panels as long as you get the 8mm plugs. You can get the 8mm plugs to go on your solar panels to plug in to use this unit uh, to recharge it. It will handle up to 800 watts of solar panels, and 800 watts of solar panels will recharge us from empty to full in about 5 hours of good sunlight. If you got 400 watts, which is what my system is, 400 watts will recharge at 50% in five hours. That would be considered winter sunlight for most places. Uh, in summer, when I get anywhere from 10 to 12 hours of good sunlight, 400 watts will completely recharge this unit up in about 10, 10 to 12 hours easily. Okay, and so it can it can be charged from solar, it can be charged from your AC really fast, and it can be charged from a DC plug from your vehicle. That's a slow way to charge it, but you can recharge it that way. And it has some other features. It has a light on it here. It has a, a low beam light. It has a high beam light. Uh, so if you're in a blackout, you have a light built into this unit. And the light is situated right over the AC plugs. It also has the emergency flasher light for like a road hazard. I won't leave that on. Uh, it does have the flasher light for like if you're using this and you need to get attention that you've got a, a hazard or something at your campground or even in your home, you can turn on that flasher light. So good features, really long capacity, 3,000 life cycles makes this an excellent unit. It is an all-in-one unit. I would recommend this if you're concerned about your uh, family have and having a blackout. Uh, at your home that may last three or four days, which a lot of the power blackouts that we have nowadays have been lasting that long. This is the type of unit I would really recommend for a home emergency backup power system or for RVers, campers that want to use an all-in-one unit instead of having to have a bunch of separate units hooked up to your solar power uh, that can also be recharged from AC. This would be a good unit to have. Uh, for you off-gridders out there, this is something I would maybe consider if you don't want to have to buy separate components. If you don't want to have to buy an MPPT controller, separate inverter, a separate power controller, uh, a, a, a separate battery, and try to make a unit of your own, this unit here, by the time you calculate how much you would spend for each individual component, you're not going to save that much. It's certainly not going to be portable or as usable as this unit here that is an all-in-one unit that you can use in your RVs for off-grid living or using your cabins like I do here uh, for running appliances. All right, so in the next part of this video, I'm just going to show you some of my uh, some of the appliances that I have run over this last week, uh, putting this through some testing to make sure that it works with everything. And I can give it the off-gooder star of approval. I believe this is a good unit, a uh, reasonable price on Geniverse.com. <laughs> Okay, so these are the Geniverse uh, solar panels. This is a 200 watt uh, solar panel, monocrystalline, uh, with 64 uh, monocrystalline cells. It is foldable, and uh, it also has snaps on it, so it holds together. And they send it with a nice case. Uh, and the uh, cord, which is a uh, a uh, 8 mm cord that plugs into the back of the uh, Geniverse Pro 2. Now these panels are designed specifically for the Geniverse Pro 2 and uh, they are a high output, uh, very efficient panel, uh, weatherproof, can be set outside like this. They do have a brace on the back, I can't really show you, or three braces looks like on the back that you can set this out anywhere you need to. So if you're using it for camping, uh, you can just set it out in your camp spot wherever and get sun on it. Now 200 watts. Uh, we'll recharge this unit in about uh, five hours up to 25%. Uh, 400 watts, you're going to get 50% in about five hours. And if you've got 800 watts, you're going to recharge the entire unit in about five hours of good sunlight. So that's pretty good recharge time. Uh, you can recharge it with solar uh, during the day when you're uh, doing 
uh, whatever you're doing around your house. You could use these panels at your house or for camping or for a remote power station if you're doing work outside or someplace at a, a remote uh, area where you're doing work. Put the panels out, recharge the station up uh, for your uh, power use for the day. So they seem to be very well made panels. Uh, they are monocrystalline, which I like. That's a high quality panel, a little higher efficiency uh, than a poly panel. Uh, they do seem to be well made and uh, they are foldable compact, weigh about 20 pounds. Uh, so they're not uh, really too much of a problem to set up anywhere. And they also do have uh, some openings. They do have some grommet holes. So if you wanted to do a uh, more permanent mount on this, you could do a permanent mount and, uh, you know, set them up someplace like on top of your RV or something like that. I wouldn't leave them up there while you're driving, but you could put them up there or you could um, possibly hang them on the side of your house or something like that if you needed to. All right, seems to be a decent panel. And these right now, our sunshine isn't all that great, but we're getting uh, pretty decent sunshine. And I'm getting right around 115, 120 watts uh, out of this 200 watt solar panel. So that's pretty good output uh, for this time of year. Morning. Geniverse does give you a five-year warranty. I would also compare that to other brands out there. A lot of the other brands will only give you a one-year warranty, maybe two years on them. Geniverse gives you a full five-year warranty. That's because this is using very top-of-the-line uh, equipment inside it with a LifePo 4 battery that has many, many cycles, 3,000 cycles plus. Uh, so it's going to last you a really long time. So investment-wise, uh, this is probably a better deal than some of those other brands and units out there. I just want to put that out there. Uh, and go, go and take a look at them and compare them to some other units out there. I think you'll be quite impressed.